Hey everyone, Jason here. Hey, I haven't posted a video in a while, so I figured I would reach out and say, hey everyone, I'm still here. I've not fallen asleep on the microscope, never to be talked to again. Uh, things have just been really, really, really busy here at the shop. It's, uh, it's proven to be a very fast paced business, but I've been forced to make some changes. Uh, this YouTube channel, it's proven to be very difficult to balance the amount of attention I get from the channel with the workflow that's coming into the shop. I've posted videos saying things that you would normally never say in a normal business. Uh, I've said things that I would think would get rid of customers, but instead it would actually draw in more and more and more business. So it's proven to be a little bit difficult to balance that. I have had to raise some prices and uh, make some changes and stuff, but uh, everything's moving along really well. I just finished up another uh, successful data recovery. This one is an iPhone 5S that came in liquid damaged. And I'm gonna show you what it looked like since you're probably here to see the microscope anyway. Uh, this one was really, really, really nasty here up top. After a small amount of cleaning, I determined there wasn't anything important shorted. And I hooked it up, the phone started to boot and it dropped out to a battery icon and off it went. Or wait, maybe it was the other way. Maybe it went battery icon, boot, dead. Uh, but what I wound up with is a phone that would do 80 milliamps in boot loop. And that's typically data line like stuff. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's anybody's guess as to what some of these symptoms are. This one was 80 milliamps in boot looping. So I went through here. Uh, some, a lot of these things were already chunked away but I went through here and I checked each and every one on the schematics and made sure we didn't have anything that was data line and we actually did here on this one so I made sure our data lines were clear I made sure at our 80 milliamps and boot looping I was seeing voltage popping up on the data lines and I just freaking checked this thing from head to toe and everything looked beautiful I mean I just there was liquid damage here so um I wound up pulling chestnut off of there and replacing it, but every other component here tested good. Backlight driver I pulled but did not reinstall because we don't need backlight for data. Um, so this wound up being the PMIC, and I poked all over this thing looking for anything else that it could be because I just watched the damn thing work. Like it, it started to boot and then it died off to 80 milliamps in boot looping. So. Um, after checking this thing very thoroughly and deciding that I really don't think it could be anything but something I haven't checked, which is was PMIC, you know, I hadn't checked the NAND, um, and I hadn't checked the CPU, uh, but, you know, the PMIC was about the only thing left, and come on, it did boot, and then it, it died, so... Um, this one was a PMIC, I didn't have any in stock, so I actually snagged one off of... Not that board tell. I don't know where I threw it. Anyways, I pulled that off a donor board, uh, reballed it, stuck it on here, and, and this one boots. But this isn't a repair video. I just wanted to reach out and say, hey, everyone, I'm still here. Repair video is coming. I have recorded some stuff and haven't posted it, uh, but it'll come out in due time. I gotta, you know, I've got to prioritize work first, and right now I'm making moves that will actually slow that down a little bit and hopefully help me do more of what I love. I mean, I love working on this stuff. But whenever it gets to be like teeth grit and everybody's on your ass, that's no fun. Um, high volume is no fun. I reached a point where I was a little bit over 90 phones in queue, 90 phones. And you know, people, I'm not trying to build an empire here. I'm not trying to grow and, and expand and buildings and employees. I'm, I'm, I'm just not, I'm, that's not me. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to make a decent living doing something that I love, which is tinkering with electronics. Uh, but I'm also trying to keep that from uh, being too much of a drag because I, I'll be honest, when you get that much stuff stacked up on you, it's really, really hard to not start feeling burnt out. Uh, so I've found creative ways of dealing with that and um, ultimately um, have been forced to make some changes, but I'm still here. I do thank you all for watching. I apologize. I've not been able to get back to your comments, but things have been really busy. So um, I will see you next time most likely really really soon because i have some things i've recorded and just haven't posted yet because like i said i have to balance the attention that this channel is drawing with the incoming job queue and it's just it's proven to be like apples and oranges it's two completely different animals this isn't like the traditional business structure where you know you're doing all you're bringing in 
and then when things get a little slow you pay for advertising and you try to bring in more and you target areas and advertise and um, this isn't like that uh, social media it, it's a whole different ride so guys i'll see you next time have a good day and thank you for watching fly ah one fly all day uh check audio okay i just buzzed that same board through the ultrasonic cleaner and i wanted to show you what it looks like so here's the microscope here's the top end of that board that looked like garbage now it looks like slightly less garbage as you can see i pulled a ton of crap off of here just you know trying to figure out you know what is getting pulled what you know what what's screwed up this looks like crap look at this thing but it seemed to only get wet here at the top and right here around uh, chestnut and the backlight driver um, so it was really hard to trace down liquid anywhere else on this thing there was no signs of liquid getting in or out around the PMIC area here yet when I pulled the PMIC there was uh, there was dog doo-doo under it so um, and something else I do a lot on the 5S's is jumper these guys um, I'm not sure just what real purpose they have if if I'm doing this for the sake of repairing the phone um, I will replace these rather than jumpering them, but data recovery, they get, they get that. This is like the USB detect line, and this is our um, little gatekeeper guy that ties the battery line to VCC main. And I got a little bit of heat down here. And this is a PMIC off of a different phone. And... Oh yeah, let's see. Did I get any solder balls up here? I didn't even check. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. And apparently I did check because they've been scratched on. So busy these days. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.